Now we are moving to exercise 18.5, question number 1. The question is, the following places were chosen for a field trip by 30 students. Okay, we have to, these are the uh, following places for the trip. These are the data and number of words, that means place, uh, museum, zoo, pla uh, planetarium, bird sanctuary and art gallery. So, five students likes to go to mu uh, muse museum, two students likes to go to uh, zoo and eight uh, students uh, likes to go to planetarium and ten students, they, are, they like to go to bird sanctuary and five students, they like to go to art art gallery okay so what do we have to do we have to represent this data by a pie chart that is our question before that you have to uh, know how to construct a pie chart if you want to construct a pie chart you have to follow some steps before that you have to understand what is pie chart the pie chart you can see here this is an example okay this is an example the circle you can see a circle the circle angle, all total angle of the circle always will be 360. Okay. You can understand this from here to here. If you are making a straight line, then it will be a semi circle. And now it is full circle. The angle, uh, total of this uh, circle angle will be 360. Okay. Then, uh, if you want to construct a pie chart, what you have to do? You have to uh, do some steps. Before that, the fractions of the total a sector represent has to be worked out and then converted into angle. First of all, you have to find out the fractions. Okay. And you have to convert these fractions into angle. Okay. How we can find out the fractions? That means here you can see the question. Yeah, the basketball, uh, outdoor games, basketball, 120 students are interested, cricket, 180 and hockey. Uh, 70 football 150 and volleyball 80 what do you have to do you have to add these all numbers okay 120 plus 180 plus 70 plus 150 plus 80 you will get 600 out of 600 120 peoples they are they like uh, here I will draw an example yeah out of 600 600 students you can see the 600 out of 600 120 students like to play what basket ball understand so out of 600 120 students like to play basketball so you can see now it's became a fraction okay first of all you have to be, uh, convert into fraction this fraction you have to convert into angles how to convert angles this is already chosen here if you want to convert this basketball into angle what you have to do you have to multiply with 360 okay first of all you have to make a convert into fraction then into 360 then you will get angle okay now we can move to our question the question is 18.5 question number one so according to our question you can see museum five people are interested okay so first of all you have to make a um, table like this the headlines are places according to our question places and I wrote like this what are the places? Museum, zoo, planetarium, bird sanctuary, and art gallery. So, number of students. How many of them are interested to go to uh, museum? Five people. Understood? That's why I wrote here five. And zoo, two people. And planetarium, eight. And bird sanctuary, ten. Last, art gallery, five. Clear? Now, what do you have to do? We have to find the total how many students are there already given 30 students we can count 8 plus 2 10 15 25 30 30 students are there no question already they said 30 out of 30 out of 30 clear five students they are interested to go to where they where they want to go they want to go to museum how to convert into angles now we go to the fraction 5 by 30 out of the 30 five students are interested to go to Museum. So if you want to convert into angles, then only we can draw the pie chart. Okay. First of all, you have to find out uh, the fractions. We found it. Now we have to convert into angles. For that, what do you have to do? You into 360. If you want to convert into angles, then what you have to do? Into 360. Clear? Here, uh, the equation is there. You can see the step 1 and step 2. 
if you found the fraction, what do you have to do? You have to fraction into 360. Then you will get the angle. If you will multi uh, multiply this fraction into 360, this 0 and this 0 we can cut. 3 and 12 we can cut. 1, 3 is so 3. 12, 3 is so 36. 12 into 5, how much it will come? 60 degrees. So the central angle we got 60 degree. Clear? Now the second one, Su. So how much out of 30? 30 out of 30 how many students are interested two that's why uh, i wrote 2 by 30 the fraction we got now what do you have to do we have to multiply with 360 then we will get the center angle so we can cut with this 0 and 0 and 1 this 3 and this 36 12 12 into 2 24 degree clear and next one planetarium how much how many people are interested out of 30 8 people that's why 8 by 30 I wrote like this clear into 360 then you will get the central angle we can cut 12 12 8 will be 96 yeah 96 degree now bird sanctuary after 30 10 people 10 students are interested to go to bed sanctuary if you want to now we got the uh, fractions what do you have to do we have to convert into a central angle central angle if you want to convert into central angle what do you have to do we have to multiply with 360 the zero and this zero we can, will cut and this three and this 36 we will cut then it will come it will be 12 then 12 into 10 12 into 10 what will be the answer 120 degree now art gallery art gallery out of far uh, 5 out of 30 okay 30 sorry 30 out of 5 students are interested to go to art gallery if you will multiply we already got this 5 answer okay one more time we can multiply then also you will get the same answer you will get 60 so we got the angles 60 24 96 and 120 60 okay if you will multiply you will get 360 total okay now we are going to um draw a pie chart we are going to construct a pie chart with this angles okay if you want to construct a pie chart you need three things the first one compass and pencil the second thing is a protractor and last thing we need a scale these three things we needed for constructing a pie chart so now we have the three things so we are going to construct the pie chart for that uh, first of all you have to draw a sample just a symbol pie chart like this just a model okay make the central point from here to here you have to make a radius okay then first of all what you have to do we have to count first museum how many people are students are interested to go to museum five that means 60 degree so you have to keep the center point here and you have to draw 60 degree then somehow it will come here understood then it will be museum five students okay and two two will be yeah, what you have to do you have to keep the center point here and two means 24 degree you have to measure the 24 and make an angle like this okay 24 that is so clear like that then you have to keep the center here and you have to measure the next one 96 degree planetarium 96 we come here planetarium understand how much 96 degree after you have to keep this product here and you have to measure the next one 120 120 will come here understood this is bird sanctuary and last one is art gallery if you are measuring it will automatically it will come to 60 so we can construct with the help of these three things uh, we can construct a pie chart with the help of these three things okay finished one model so first you have to take this compass and you have to make a circle like this if you want to draw a pie chart first of all what you have to do you have to make a circle properly like this we have already one demo figure here so 
we are going to uh, convert uh, sorry draw the actual figure for that now this is the center you can see from here I am going to draw a radius to the to this point okay so we got a radius these are the first step after that take the protractor you can see keep the protractor in the center of this line clear and first museum 60 degree you have to measure exactly 60 degree okay you can see the center point keep this point here and keep the 0 to the straight line like this okay and 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 now you found the 60 degree clear so what you have to do you have to draw if it is going to the outside of the circle you don't want to measure from there just check it like this it is correct or not okay this point and this point this is 60 and keep this here here but draw from this side okay clear don't draw from here you have to draw from this side clear so you will get this is zoo sorry this is museum what is the 50 60 degree museum so you had right museum okay museum uh, how much number five peoples are interested clear that means 60 percentage 60 percentage you don't want to draw this angle here just for understanding I'm, i draw like this okay i do like this you don't want to draw any kind of um, angle like this okay next is so now we got museum five number that means 60 degree and now next is su how many students are interested two so that means 24 degree how we will found the 24 find the 24 degree Take the protractor like this and keep now we are starting from here so the, we got another line from here keep this center point to this line and what you have to do you have to measure 24 degree exactly 0 10 20 now 30 okay how we will do one more time i will tell uh, you can see the center point now we got two uh, lines so the second line we got now so we have to keep this center point to this line like this and you have to measure 24 degree from here hmm? so here 0 10 20 21 22 23 24 it will come like this here okay so you have to measure make the line properly okay you don't want to start from here you have to start from this point okay now you will get this is so number of students two percentage that means how much degree 24 degree okay you have to draw this properly clear and next is What is the next? Next is planetarium. Each student, how much degree? 96 degree. Okay, we can draw. So, what you have to do? You have to keep the center point to the third line. Okay. Keep here and measure 96 degree exactly. 96 degree. So, starting from here, 0, 90, you can say 90, 95, and 96 will be here. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to make a straight line like this. Okay, yeah, sorry, it's not the straight line from here we have to draw. So it will be the straight line. Okay, this will what planetarium. How many students are interested? Eight students, that means. 96 degree clear after that what is the next one next thing is yeah 
bird sanctuary tends bird sanctuary 10 students are in the, uh, interested that means 120 degree for that you have to now you can see the one two three fourth line also we got so you have to keep this protractor to the new line that means the fourth line you have to measure 120 degree 120 degree 0 90 100 100 120 will be here understood so from there you have to draw a straight line to our center point like this okay so this will be how much degree 120 degree 10 students are in interested bird sanctuary okay clear and last one you don't want to measure this automatically you can see here it will come it will become exactly 60 degree understood that is what is that that is art gallery how many students are interested art gallery so five students are interested that means 60 degree clear so if you here you don't want to measure this one automatically it will become 60 degree it will automatically it will come like 60 degree so like this way you have to make a pie chart is it clear now we finish question number one so two three four five and six are homework for you so you have to do these questions to your notebook notebook same way you have to write the question number one also to your notebook if you have any doubts you can ask me